Do you feel like uh, do you feel like things are getting better defensively, or uh, is it? Do you feel like you're running in, in sand? Proofs in the pudding in terms of you know we just we got to get better defensive results in games. You know, I mean, the last game, uh, I think we gave up a couple of chances, but it was really the set piece chances that hurt us. Uh, and that's something that you have time to organize. So we got to make sure we we do a better job with that. Dallas is always an interesting challenge in terms of the conditions, in terms of the way they play. How do you how do you handle that and fortify yourself defensively? Uh, you know, I mean, obviously, the and the conditions are what they are. I don't know why. <laughs> the league always insists upon afternoon games in Dallas. Love that. Uh, really you know do. they do. It's uh, it's difficult, but uh, you know it's something that we have to endure. They have to endure. Uh, and for us right now, it's just about us and us playing well. Are they a challenge to prepare for in that they can go different styles depending on whether they put Diaz in or they go with a different group? I mean, he's played pretty consistently over the last few games. Uh, you know, Oscar likes to uh, tinker a little bit and move it around. So. Yeah, there's always the chance of that happening. That game and the last game when you lose, essentially in stoppage time, is that more difficult than other kinds of losses? Do you feel like you're snake bit now? Uh, every loss doesn't feel good, uh, you know, but certainly losing on a late goal when you fought to come back and equalize, uh, you know, is, uh, is you know, you know, hits you a little bit. But uh, we still got a long way to go in this season, and, uh, you know, what's important is that we, Oh, we start playing better and better, and that we're playing our best soccer at the end of the season. You've played a very tough schedule um, with, you know, playoff teams and everything like that, and maybe the record's not indicative of how good your team is. It, 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 do you need just one win just to turn that around and get it going in the right direction? We need a couple wins, you know, to get it turned around and moving in the other direction. And I think, you know, uh, you know, I think we've played some some good teams uh, in our schedule right now. You know, Houston was a game that I felt we could have. Uh, Walked away with a tie, so that's what makes that one a little more disappointing. A lot of time. Oh, go ahead. No, we saw Gio walk off with Ivan. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. He was just, you know, feeling, feeling a little bit. His stomach, you know, was upset a little. A lot on playing as a fortune teller for us. Uh, said he saw this team winning the trophy this year. <laughs> that's fantastic. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to, uh, you know, what are those uh, things you go to amusement parks and you know, follow that up. But uh, no, I mean, uh, the confidence of your leader is important. And, uh, you know, so you can will, you can will things and you can will things for your team. And, and that's something that he provides for us. How is uh, Jonathan? Do you think he can maybe go an extended period of time in this game? Yeah, no, no. He's, uh, I think he's ready to come into the team. So we'll, again, we'll check tomorrow and then we'll make our decision. This will be a game we're going to need a bench. I mean, with the temperatures. Well, you can only sub three. Right, I know. But the <laughs> rules don't change, unfortunately, for for any of these games. They probably should once the heat gets over a certain factor. Yeah. Would you, would you uh, go to the but bench you, earlier in conditions like that, or just the, the, the game? Hey, you, you got to read the game. I mean, you need you need eight guys, you know, or, or seven field players to go 90 minutes. Uh, and as the game's going on, you sort of read it. Sometimes there's an injury, and you know, a guy you didn't expect to go 90 ends up having to go 90. But uh, but you sort of read it and you see who needs to be replaced, who needs gas. Are you guys going to have water breaks? Have they told you yet? Uh, they, they determine at the day of the game. Well, if it's 95, then yeah, yeah, it's, that's yeah. water break territory. Well, uh, I imagine. It, it should be two water break territories. Or maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> How would you describe the overall mood of this team? Is it obviously it's frustrated, disappointed, angered? It's, frust it's frustrated, but it's still a team that's very confident. I believe in them as a group. And they believe in each other as a group, and uh, you know it's just a matter of, of getting the results to back that up. But it's a team that's still very confident, and I'm still very confident in the group that we have. And as I said, there's still there's still a lot of games to go in this season, and uh, it doesn't matter what you're doing at the beginning of the year. What matters in this league is how you're playing at the end of the year.